Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today is my May favorites. Today is going to be the last video of my hashtag Men's Makeup May series. This has been so much fun all month long. I'm so glad that you all enjoyed this. I received so much great feedback, so many really nice comments, a lot of thumbs up, a lot of people were participating, and I'm just glad that it was not nothing, you know what I mean? I kind of was scared that I was going to do this and no one was going to collaborate with me. Anyways, so that off my chest, I'm so glad that this happened and this was a thing and that's going to be my number one favorite for the month. If you want to catch up with everything Men's Makeup May related, I'm going to leave the card above so you can go ahead and click on that to watch. Now onto the actual products themselves, mostly makeup. I've got a few accessories, I've got one fragrance to talk about. Um, and let's just start there with the fragrance because I haven't talked about a fragrance in a favorites video in quite a while. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This has been one of my number one fragrances for such a long time and I just kind of forgot about it for a while. I didn't really wear it for months, maybe almost half a year. And I just picked it up the other day because it was nice and finally sunny outside and I sprayed it on myself because to me this just smells like sunshine and summer. And it's very um, citrusy. I wish I was better at describing fragrance. All I can say is it is fresh and citrusy, not too sweet. I would definitely recommend going to smell it if you're looking for a nice, easy, everyday summer fragrance. I've got one skincare-esque related item. This is Philosophy's Renewed Hope in a Jar Micro Renewal Hydrating Mist. That's a mouthful. This is basically just a hydrating facial spray. You can use it before your moisturizers, you can use it over top of your makeup, you can use it throughout the day, you can really use it for whatever you want to use it for, just like pretty much every other hydrating mist out there on the market. The big difference in this is it has an acid blend in it. I know it has mandelic acid and it has glycolic acid in it, um, and it just makes your skin look nice and fresh and bright, and it is not... Um, drying. It's actually hydrating. I kind of was interested because I knew it had that acid blend in it and I thought that maybe it was going to be drying, but it's actually not. It does have glycerin um, and some oils and water and, you know, hydrating things for your face. Um, so yeah, I've been enjoying this. The way I use it is really actually halfway through the day, I will powder my face and then spray this on it. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but I powder my face to get rid of bad shine and then I spray this on my face over top of the powder so that I don't look cakey and powdery if that makes any sense. Occasionally I will spray it onto my face right after I've cleansed before I apply any moisturizers or serums or anything um, and I like it that way as well too. Makeup wise I have three foundations to talk about um, only two of which I really actually wear as foundation the other I've been using as a concealer that one is the Vichy Derma Finish Cover Ridge Cosmetics 16 hour wear. Oh my god, that's the longest name ever. Derma Finish. We'll just call it Vichy Derma Finish. And this is in the shade 15 Opal. I've been using this as a concealer, a spot concealer, because I have had probably the most consistent breakouts of my life ever this month. Um, I'm That's why I don't really have a lot of skincare to talk about because I'm so confused with skincare right now. Um, but that being said, this concealer or this foundation that I've been using as a concealer has been really helpful this month because I can just dot it where I need to and blend it in with my fingers or a little tiny brush um, and it just makes me look, you know, nice and covered but I don't feel like I need to pack on coverage over my whole face. Also this bottle, while it sounds expensive at $30, one ounce of concealer that you're just using on little tiny spots is a lot of product. I feel like I'm going to have this for the rest of my life. Um, and it does have sunscreen in it, which is great over spots because you don't want them to turn into dark spots. The foundation that I've been using on my whole face this month has been the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in the shade 2 Vanilla. I mentioned this right when it came out in a review and I absolutely loved it and I've been using it sort of, you know, occasionally ever since. I always find myself reaching for it when I feel like I want just really sheer coverage. I want just really nice looking skin and I don't want to look makeup-y. Since the coverage on this is so sheer, occasionally I would use this over top. This is the Double Take Foundation from Laura Geller and it is just a versatile powder foundation. You can use it with a sponge or a brush or whatever you like to do. I've been using a really loose fluffy brush just to sort of pat a little bit over top just to add a little bit of extra coverage to this and a little bit more long wear as well. Um, sometimes I'll wear this by itself if I really want just something super quick. I've been really into powder foundation foundation this month as a whole, um, which is something I'm not normally into. I really didn't like powder foundation for a couple of years, but I think I understand it a little bit better now. I really see myself grabbing for these two products all summer long because this has my sunscreen in it, my hydration in it. This is just so simple and quick, and I like the way that they look together. I like the way that they look individually. Um, so I really just see myself grabbing for these all summer long. By the way, I do have all three of these products on my face right now. I've got the Complexion Rescue all over, 
Then I have a little bit of this just on any spots that I have, and then I have a little bit of the Laura Geller over top of my whole face. On my lips all month, I've been reaching for the Juicy Shaker from Lancome. I have the shade Freedom of Peach. This is so amazing. I love the luscious oil feel. It doesn't feel sticky or gummy or goopy or glossy. It just feels nice and hydrating on the lips. I love the color. I think that this color really suits me with blonde hair and blue eyes. I think the peach just works really well. Um, but I could see this color working for pretty much anybody. And they have have 20 colors which would pretty much suit anybody. I also think the smell of these are to die for. This one smells like peach obviously but they all smell like whatever the name is. They have one that's called Show Me the Honey. I think that's the one I'm going to pick up next. Last makeup item sadly has been discontinued. I've been talking about this all month long on my channel. This is the Smashbox Brow Tech Powder. Um, and this, I'm 90% sure, does not exist anymore. You can find it on Amazon, but it's significantly upcharged from the original price. Um, and this is just a trio of powders. I am on the hunt for something that is very similar to this so that I can feature that on my channel instead of this so that I can be featuring products that you can actually purchase. Um, so if you know something that is like this with the wax and the powder that really works well, let me know. Again, something I didn't really think that I would ever be into is brow wax and powder. I'm just a pencil guy through and through, but this I've been reaching for all month long. Even with my pencil, sometimes I'll use the pencil to get sort of the edges, and then I'll use this to fill in the bulk of the brow. I just think it looks a little bit more um, fluffy, I guess. I always get a natural look, even with pencil, but I think that this, because of the wax, makes my brows look more fluffy. Does that make any sense? And I have one last item to talk about, and that is some brushes. You've seen me use these in practically every tutorial this month. These are my palette brush collection from Vanity Planet. This brush set is my whole life. I've, I think I've used them every single day throughout May. There is not a day, I think, that went by that I wore makeup that I did not use at least one or two or five or eight of these brushes. There are 15 in total. They range from foundation to powders to concealer brushes, eye brushes. I even used the angled brush in here to fill in my brows with that powder. It's just a really great everything all-in-one kit, and I definitely recommend this to anybody who's just starting out and just needs a nice everything set of brushes or even people who have all the brushes in the world they need but just want something easy to take with them for traveling. And that's it. Those are my favorites from the month of May. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in any of the products that I talked about today, they are all linked in the description box for you. If you have any questions about them, please leave those in the comment section below. While you're down there, make sure that you are looking in the description box for all of my social media. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all at John John Talks, as well as on Facebook. It's just Jonathan Curtis on Facebook and uh, that's about it if you're not already subscribed to my channel click on my face now so that you can be here I post at least two videos every week lately I've been posting three I think that I'm gonna go back to two maybe three when I have time because let me tell you this month was full thank you so so much for watching and I will see you all next time bye it's gonna only be two steps sometimes I feel like I really want to take my time and do the whole shebang and cleanse and tone and moisturize and layer